Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Okay, so it's Saturday, 10 after 12, a little bit after noon, and I'm finally getting out of the house, and here's what we're doing today. Got the filming camera, but I brought my X-T4. Gonna go out and do some street photography and see what I get. Now, I've gone minimal. I actually have my small little bag that just has my phones in it. No gear, no all kinds of crap that weighs me down and all that shit so that I'm not like burdened by the end of the day with carrying so much shit. But uh, yeah, I kind of have been meaning to do this for a long time. I've also been meaning to post more pictures. So today's the start of that trend. So let's go see what we can find interesting or maybe hideously boring around Virginia Beach and take some pictures. Okay, so don't know what's going on down here. I was just gonna go to three ships and uh, get a shot to start the day and the parking lot was blocked and it said no parking after 12 p.m. So clearly there must be something going on that I am unaware of. So I had to park way the hell over here and walk my happy ass over to get my shot. But at least if something's going on, I've got something to take pictures of, right? So let's go check that out. It looks like I missed some kind of carnival. Total bummer. I didn't know anything about this. Axe throwing, that would have been something, huh? Okay, well, that's the remnants of it. And of course, as soon as I drive all the way over and park way the hell far away, they remove the can't park here signs and you can park here now. Wah! All right, so here's the skinny on this. I didn't miss the little carnival with the axe throwing and all that shit. They're setting up for it for sometime this afternoon, this evening, I don't know. That's why they're not allowing parking back there. The reason that this road was blocked off though was because of the farmer's market. So I happened to pull up right as they were done and when I went and parked, in the meantime, they removed the sign closing the road. So whatever. Okay, I'm going to uh, hoof it down to the boardwalk and get some more pictures just because that's what I feel like doing. So let's go down there and do that. All right, so. There's, a, I mean, a fair amount of people down here. It is really nice. And thank God there's a nice breeze because I am schwitzing. I need to take off this freaking beater. It's like made my body temperature like 20 degrees warmer than it actually is. They've got all the, uh, as you can see by the arcs, arches, whatever. They've got the Christmas lights up. And I don't know, I don't know if they, you know, like, they light them every night or what they're doing, if it's that time yet. I mean, it is into November, so it wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility that they, they do that every night now. But, and I've never come down here other than walking. I've never taken the driving tour. They basically block off the boardwalk and a lot of the cars drive through the lights. You know that it wouldn't be a day out walking around the boardwalk without me coming over here and getting a picture of Nightmare Mansion. It's just what I do. But I gotta wait for the cops to pull this guy over so I can cross the street. Okay, this is impulsive because I'm hungry, but I am at Beach Bully Barbecue, and I'm not gonna be entirely awful, so I didn't get really, really horrible things to eat, but I'm sure she'll be excited. So now we wait and then we go eat. Oh, oh my God. I, I was literally dripping with sweat inside Beach Bully barbecue waiting for the food and they were going backwards so the two people that came in after me got their food in reverse or like so the you know the i had to wait and i was sweating <laughs> let's just put it that way oh my god i didn't think it was going to be this warm it wasn't supposed to be it's almost 70 degrees out and being in all black and having the beater on underneath it just made it like 20 times worse um so yeah, now I need to go home and eat. And, well, no, now I need to drive home and smell this shit all the way home and not be able to eat it. So I got us uh, beef brisket sandwiches and I, I don't wanna torture her with my Spartan regimen, although she's been doing a good job too, uh, and so have I, but I got the platter so it came with two sides and I got French fries and baked beans. So the french fries, not the greatest thing, but 
I've also found that if you go 110% in for these like crazy hardcore diets, uh, you end up going ape shit and, and you break them and you break them hard and fast. So I'm not going to beat myself up. I'm going to have some French fries with my brisket. And she's always like constantly iron deficient. So she needs the red meat too. <laughs> However, you got to justify it. So yeah, I'm going to go home. I'm going to eat lunch. It's 2.20 right now. The day is young. I got a lot of cool pictures or around the boardwalk and three ships and, and in between three ships and the boardwalk. But there are other things out there for me to get pictures of. I'm ready to go downtown into downtown. Like it's a downtown city center. They may have the Christmas globes set up, but they may not. But it's sunny and 70 degrees. Not exactly Christmassy feel. I'd rather go when it's overcast and, and pretty chilly out, um, but not snowing. And go get pictures of those and, and the lights down there. So for now, we're going to go home and I'm going to tear this brisket sandwich up. And, uh, and then we'll see what else we're going to do. So let's go do it. Okay, kids. We're down at Town Center. I had to park all the way on the other block on the other side of the street in the shopping mall. There's nowhere to park down here. And there's a huge ass line down here that, that wraps all the way around the block. I have no idea what it's for, but we're gonna go find out. Okay, well, I don't know what's so spectacular about Legos, but apparently this is what everybody's waiting for. Okay, I didn't wanna record them, but I asked a, a, you know, a, like a family who had come out of the Lego store, what the big deal was. Uh, apparently yesterday was the grand opening and it's a Lego store. So people were excited. They were giving away some free gifts, things like that. Gigantic line wrapped around the block for Legos. Who knew? Well, that was a lot of fun. And that's why I need to do that more often. I had no idea that there was gonna be some big ass Lego fest of, of people wrapped around the block just to get Legos. This is the way that this is going to be going forward. This is what I had intended to do. This was what I wanted it to morph back into, which was photography. It's all about photography. That's why I started doing this, because I have a passion for photography. So now what I intend to do is just this. I, I may pick a setup and just say, OK, today I've got my Fuji X-T4. I'm going to go on the black and white recipe, the dude, and I'm going to go out and I'm going to take some pictures. Or I might grab my A7R5 and a 50 millimeter G Master and go out and see what I can get there. So that's what I'm going to do. You hear it here, I'm sticking to it. I'm going to go out, I'm going to tell you what I'm using, and then we're going to go out and we're going to take pictures and see what we can come up with. And then the end of the video is just going to be like a slideshow. Of, of all the pictures I happened to get that day or that week, because I'm not gonna promise a daily thing. And because I'm on the road and because I'm doing a lot of shit, you might get you know several days in there all at once, but that's gonna kind of what it's gonna be like going forward. So let me know what you think of the new format. Let me know what you think of the pictures. Let me know what you think of the dude. There you go. That's what you get. That's all you get for today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.